In this video, we're going to look at the use of the data analysis add-in, the data analysis tool pack add-in to look at correlation. Before we do that, let's have a quick look at our sample data. And our sample data is available to download on our website. And this data set has come from an open data set that was made public by Walmart some time ago. And it lists stores and departments and it has weekly sales for two years. It then has the store size, it has the temperature for that week, the fuel price, the consumer price index and the unemployment. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the correlation between these values and see is there any correlation between these values using the data analysis tool pack. Now to turn it on you need to go to file and you need to go to options and in options you need to go to add-ins and in Excel add-ins you need to turn on the analysis tool pack. And once you turn this on in your data ribbon you will see this data analysis option and if you click on this you can see all of the data analysis that's available you've got correlation descriptive statistics histograms moving average the whole lot are in here and what we're going to look at today is we are going to look at the correlation so let's select ok and it is looking for an input range now the input range we're going to take is we're going to first look at the correlation between consumer price index and unemployment so i have selected all of the data there i've grouped it by columns our labels are in the first rows and we're going to put this on a new worksheet and select ok and once you do this you will be given this little chart showing any correlation between consumer price index and unemployment and we can see that there is a strong negative correlation so a strong positive correlation will be closer to a positive one no correlation will be close to zero and a strong negative correlation will be close to minus one so we can see that there's a strong negative correlation between the consumer price index and unemployment just returning to our data set now, if you wanted to see a correlation between all of these data sets, again, it is rather simple. We will go to data analysis, we will go to correlation and select OK. And this time we will select all of the data set. Again, we have in our labels in first rows and put it on a new worksheet and say OK. And now we get a table and we'll just resize all of this table and this table gives us the correlation between the different variables so our weekly sales well it's it's one we can kind of ignore weekly sales to weekly sales we have a 0.2 correlation between our weekly sales and our store size we have a very very small negative correlation between our weekly sales it's so small it is almost no correlation at all between our weekly sales and our temperature or our fuel price or consumer price index but if we look over here at our fuel price we seem to have a very positive correlation between our fuel price and our consumer price index we also have a very negative correlation between our consumer price index and our unemployment. What we could now do is we could add some conditional formatting. We could add a color scale, for example, and then we could go back in and we could have a particular cell rule where it's equal to one. We are going to have no fill. So now we can ignore all of the ones and we can see anything then that has a strong positive correlation is coming up in a red, you can see it quite clearly, and a strong negative correlation is coming up in a green color. So there's quite a strong negative correlation between fuel price and unemployment, and there is a, straight, a strong correlation between fuel price and consumer price index. So that is how you can use correlation from the data analysis add-in, the data analysis tool pack add-in that's available in Excel. And don't forget, you can download this data set on my website. If you like this video, please do give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave comments below the video in the comments section.